It's a new day, and that means a new episode for TNN. I'm Tiger Kowalski with Tyler News Network. I'm Angie, and today you can hear all about college workshops, enrollment specialists, registration cards, winter formal, the rally, and the creative writing club. My name is Andreas, and I'm be with you with the sports. Here's the news and announcements yeah. you need to know. Freshmen, sophomore, and juniors, tomorrow the appropriate information in Aries is due and your registration cards must be signed by a parent and submitted to your third period teacher. Last Thursday, San Luis Obispo FFA competed in their first in-person speaking contest in two years at Templeton High School. We had 12 students participate in four different speaking competitions. These included impromptu, job interviews, prepared speaking, and extemporaneous. <laughs> So FFA took first place in all of the speaking competitions. A special congrats to the following students listed. Winter formal is only a few days away. The time to buy tickets is running out. Hey Tigers, the Creative Writing Club is meeting today after school, February 10th. They will be meeting in room J3 in Ms. Sainsbury's room. Join the community of creative writers and share your ideas and imaginations with others. In case you didn't remember, it is still VAPA week. Here's a feature about Slow HS's digital filmmaking program. Digital film production is a capstone class that is taught by Mr. Roper. This film class learns about the different eras of film and how they contributed to the modern movies we see in theaters today. We learn about the different ages of film and the different eras and new techniques that were used? A good question. Uh, so in film we practice different shot techniques as well as uh, types of lighting and overall history of film and sort of what became of it in recent years. So I decided to take film for all the wholesome family values it would give me and it would really help me produce more spiritual productions that I could connect with. You know what I'm saying? because it's fun and uh, I like using cameras. It's pretty difficult to come up with film ideas because um, it's just so much creative like liberty but it can be pretty fun. Some of my influences are Eric Andre, James Gunn, and a multitude of other people. They've really inspired me to go a long way and create the most student film of all time. I'm influenced by a lot of documentary movies I've seen because I really like that style uh, like Endless Summer. If you're interested in taking this digital film production class, make sure to sign up for a digital design a TV video if you've already taken digital design. Mr. Roper, what do you got to say to TNN? I think he sees us. We gotta stop recording. Stop! Go! <laughs> And now we have a video about the 24-hour musical by Stella. Hi Tigers. About three weeks ago, the San Luis Obispo High School Performing Arts Company put on a 24-hour musical with the help of performing arts teacher Miss Eben and directors Ava Walsh and Zoe Bartholomew. Now here are some highlights and more information. In the 24-hour musical, I was in charge of the tech crew and the stage design. So I did a lot of behind the stage things, behind the scene kind of stuff, uh, but not really as many like singing and dancing things. challenges were that we don't have movable lights in the theater for every show we have to pay to get them put in so we had to work with what we had um, also it was you know in 24 hours so it was like yeah you're not gonna be able to memorize the script um, or the dances or most of your lines um, 
So there was a challenge of having the actors get the general idea of what they should be doing even though they would never, you know, fully like have everything down. When we were practicing the whole show, we ran out of time and the second act was never actually really rehearsed. So the whole ending scene was done for the very first time up on stage. So time management is definitely a big one. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed directing. It was really fun to just be doing so many different things at once. Like it was overwhelming, but ultimately I had a good time because I knew that in the end, the final product was not supposed to be super perfect and polished. So it was just neat to get you know, a little bit of experience on many different areas of what a director and a stage designer and what people in tech do. Get excited for Trimester 3 Tigers because the San Luis Obispo High School Performing Arts Company has already started rehearsals for Wizard of Oz and the production is coming up soon. Get excited. Now we have your staff spotlight by Anthony and Sierra highlighting Mr. Naren. Hey Tigers. I'm Sierra, and this is the second edition of TNN Staff Spotlight. My name is Scott Naren, and I teach ninth grade English, and I advise the newspaper class, SlowHSExpressions.com, at San Luis Obispo High School. We asked Mr. Naren what got him into teaching, and here's what he told us. Oh, okay, I got into teaching in 1991 when uh, I had Mr. Ellis, um, RIP, who was my English teacher at Newbury Park High School, and um, he just taught me a lot about life and a lot about directions that I kind of wanted to go in, and so that was my main influence. We were curious how he ended up at Slow High, and this is his story. I just really liked the area, so I moved up here, uh, originally I moved up here to surf, and I ended up finding my wife and finding a home and finding friends and stuff, so I'm just kind of grounded in the area. I just really enjoy the uh, people that I work with and of course the students at the school, so yeah, I'm a tiger for life. We wanted to know what Mr. Nairn's favorite thing was about teaching at Slow High, and this is what he said. Uh, working with students, yeah. Once the door closes and we're able to just talk about the subject of the day, that's the best part. And then, you know, you put up with the other parts, um, like meetings and things like that, which are going fine this year. But yeah, working with kids and watching kids get difficult subjects, um, that would be my favorite part. Thanks for watching, and fill out this QR code to vote on your next staff member. Don't forget that the sign-ups for the rally tomorrow and today, this Friday at lunch, join us in the quad after the rally for a nice lunchtime activity. This week's lunchtime activity is spike ball. So now to Andreas with the sports. This Thursday, girls basketball is playing a home game against Templeton at five. Boys JV Black is playing in Moyle Bay at four. Games that are going to be played this Friday are the boys basketball in Templeton. Girls basketball is going to be playing here. Boys soccer is going to be playing here. So let's make sure you come and show some support, Tigers. Girls soccer is going to be playing in AG, and our wrestling team is going to be playing at Clovis High. Here's an announcement to get hyped for the most important boys soccer game of the season this Friday. Thanks, Andreas. Today for lunch, you should be excited. We're gonna have the local all beef burger, veggie burger, chicken Caesar salad, and your local cheese box. Most importantly, however, today is Thursday. That means it's cookie day. Let's go! <laughs> On this day in US history, the iconic play, Death of a Salesman, opened at the Morocco Theater in New York City in 1949. That's a wrap for today, Tigers. We'll Have a really tomorrow. great day. Yeah, <laughs> what she said. <laughs>